Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Lumicon's L Retro DG webinar. This is Bob Hahn, and we appreciate you taking time out of your morning, afternoon to uh, spend about 16 to 20 minutes with us learning about uh, our new retrofit kit for our decorative globes. Um, to get right off and get started, uh, whether you're looking to replace a 100 watt, 150 watt, or a 250 watt, HID lamp and a decorative globe, the Lumicon retrofit kit for decorative globes is a perfect solution for lowering energy, maintenance costs while maintaining super, superior light output and also maintaining uh, superior fi fixture aesthetics. Uh, as all of our other products, we make them and proudly make them right here in Michigan. Uh, we're just north of the city of Detroit in Farmington Hills, Michigan, where our headquarters is located. Uh, in particular, the L Retro DG kit was designed and built right here. And uh, uh, nearly all the components come from a 20 mile radius of our facility. So uh, it is USA made and does qualify for all Buy American Act, uh, as all of our other products do as well, Buy American Act uh, provisions out there. And also, like all Lumicon products, we offer a 10-year performance warranty to L70. The, uh, the fact that LEDs don't expire or catastrophically fail typically, so in the industry, we've drawn the line in the sand that says that our product is um, warranted for the first 30% of its lifespan. And so if you were to put up an L Retro DG on day one and measure 10 foot candles, if you were to go back in nine and a half years and measure less than seven foot candles, then that would be considered warranty. Uh, an exercise we just completed, we actually removed a um, wall pack from the back of Lumicon, which had been lit and running for 10 and a half years. Uh, we had the original IES files from that product, and we then sent this out and had another LM79 report done on it. And we noted that using a Cree XRC LED, which was a, one of the forerunners of almost all high-powered LEDs, uh, and it's a 12-year-old LED now, but um, we had about a 28% drop in light output running at 365 for 10 and a half years. And um, so proof is in the pudding that uh, we stand behind our products and our conservative designs uh, to make sure that we're giving 10 years of useful light output. Also, uh, to protect the light engine from lightning, on off switching, load balancing, brownout situations, uh, voltage irregularity, uh, which is the most common reason for destruction of LED products out in the field. Uh, Lumicon uses a uh, industry leading 40 kilovolt surge protection system in every single one of its fixtures, including the L Retro DG to meet extreme surge protection requirements from ANSI. The L Retro DG is adaptable and including allowing for a mounting of a wireless control node atop the unit for full wireless controllability. So whether you're using a wireless uh, radio controlled system and or a cellular based node, uh, we place a seven pin receptacle on the top that works with our zero to 10 volt driver uh, from advance and uh, gives the unit complete controllability uh, probably one of the most unique components uh, that is available on the market today. There's several pictures of the unit here showing, this one's showing the 40 kV surge suppression unit is encased. And uh, so it, to meet UL uh, specifications, since uh, the unit is a retrofit kit, we encased the surge suppression unit into this box. On the flip side, you see the advanced power driver, um, zero to 10 volt uh, with dimming leads. And um, it is completely programmable with near point communication. So if for some reason you did place it out in the field and it was too bright, uh, just using a software dongle, you can get near the driver and reprogram it down uh, or up depending on the situation 
uh, to either lessen or agree or increase the light output. Finally, uh, a top view showing the cutoff nature of the fixture. While no fixture is fully cut off inside of a globe, the L retro DG helps reduce as much uplight as possible unless desired by the end user. And we'll talk about uplight a little bit later on. Uh, but we wanted to make sure that um, because of its telescoping nature, uh, you can actually get this disc all the way to the top of the globe as opposed to other units that we've seen that are retrofit kits that have some kind of an uplight component. Uh, that's only usually necessary because um, the units is so low in the in the uh, actual globe itself. It sits in the socket way down at the bottom. Um, our cut sheet is available online. So if you want to learn more about it or get details off to an engineering or specifier, um, this is all located online now under our L Retro DG section or our decorative section. It's in both. But I would like to point out here that it is DLC uh, approved and that um, so as a decorative retrofit kit. So uh, uh, it is rebate compatible um, and uh, it can be used, uh, you know, when you're, when you're uh, punching into your ROI to also use rebates as well. Looking at the sizing of this, um, we, uh, we can see here that standard, it's about 12 inches tall um, in a, and it telescopes up, so if you actually loosen the screw and move it up, it actually can get all the way to about 17 inches in height. And then with the node on top, it's about 18 inches total. Um, and again, depending on the size of the globe, dictates how high or low uh, you'll have to place this. But um, using a seven pin receptacle with a wireless node, the wireless nodes that we've, we've done plenty of installation so far that there has been no issues with either radio and or cellular communication through the acrylic of the globe so that this node can go inside the fixture and not be sitting on the outside. Secondly, uh, just, you know, it's not a great place for a twist lock photo cell. So if you're doing this, it's still advantageous to use a button eye down in the fitter area only because photocells and acrylic, seeing through acrylic is usually uh, doesn't work out very well. Um, our mounting disc uh, is, is um, universal. It's about a seven inch disc with uh, slats going all the way around it so that it fits up to about 80% of all fitters that are out there. If you should run into a fitter that is smaller or larger or clamps a different way, something is irregular, we would just need the fitter sent in to us and we could then actually come up with a different size or design of the mounting plate for your project. Um, that's not an issue and we can customize that for you. Um, if you look closely at the cut sheet, there is uh, uh, three wattages available, 35, 45, and 55 watts. Now, if again, if 35 watts is too much, um, we can actually customize to lower wattages, or if you need 47.2 watts, we can customize to that as well. So again, uh, if you contact your regional sales manager or your agency, um, local lighting agency, they can tell you that and, and pass on the information of what you need. We usually can customize to um, what you're trying to achieve. From voltage, we offer both 12277 wide range to 347 to 480 volt. Color temperatures, we have 2700 Kelvin, 3000 Kelvin, 4000 Kelvin, 5000 Kelvin offered. Um, someone asked this morning if we would do 2200 Kelvin. The answer is yes, we can. Um, obviously, not uh, every single Kelvin temperature is DLC uh, based on the lumen output, some don't reach, but uh, for the most part, the 4000 and 5000 Kelvin do reach that. If uh, in the accessories, uh, any, if you're using a seven pin receptacle for a wireless control system, anyone will work. With our system, we do have on here that we have uh, 
We do work with uh, Ubiquia. Uh, so if you wanted to get the control system from us as well, we could arrange that. Um, and then uh, the um, only other option that is available is a house side shield, uh, which I'm going to talk about a little bit more here in a second. I'm going to stop here real quick and note that in the chat section, if you have a question as I'm going along, you can go ahead and type out your, your question and, um, and I can see it. Uh, so I'll try to answer it as we go or at the very least at the very end. So uh, there is an uplight component available upon request. Like I said before, um, typically when people install these and they telescope it up to the top, then they usually do not ask for uplight after that. Um, again, a lot of times when people want uplight, it's because the unit itself, whatever unit they're using, is screwing into the socket in utilizing that and sitting pretty low in the globe, which then leaves a lot of the top part of the globe dark. So then they put some kind of an uplight component so that it, it illuminates it. Uh, we find that many times when you install our, our product, you, you end up not really needing it. But it is available uh, through the use of another board and driver to uh, create an uplight component to it. Um, the standard product is a type five spread. Um, so depending on the Kelvin temperature and the wattage, depends on how far the throw is, our IES files are online. Um, so at our website, if you uh, need photometry done, we also can do that as well here with our crack photometry team headed up by Michael Wisnicki. Um, so we can do any number of layouts that you might need. We also can create, using a house side shield, we can create a type three um, throw as well. So what this is, is a nice piece of LZAC that we've had rolled and that uh, attaches to the top of the disc. And it does two things. One, it creates a type three spread of the LED array. Number two, it provides you with a house side shield as well so that there is no intensity going towards the house or apartment or second story window, whatever it is you get complete blockage so that you don't have to install a big aluminum reflector or paint the, uh, the fixture black or anything else that you've seen people do to try to block the light from coming out a certain side. So here's a, another look at it. Uh, and then finally, a last look at the LZAC reflector. Now, as far as installation goes, like I said, about 80% of the fitters out there are pretty similar. So what, what you do is you take the current fitter of a product and you would remove the socket out of it and the ballast. Um, and there should be holes left behind by the socket uh, where it was screwed in you know, to the boss heads. And locating those holes, if you line up our universal mounting plate uh, like I said, about 80% of them will line up nicely and uh, you're able to screw in the plate and it will hold it firmly in place um, so that it can withstand trucks rolling by, um, any kind of other types of vibrations that many outdoor poles are subjected to, wind load, uh, vehicles passing by and the like. And uh, these are all things that can cause the HID lamp or a another type of retrofit kit to shake loose or even break the uh, off the uh, socket that it's sitting in. So this is a much firmer, more robust um, mounting mechanism. Then you'd slide the globe over it, whether it's a two-piece or a one-piece globe, it easily slides over and tightens into place. Um, and then again, even in the smallest of globes, Typically, we can fit a wireless node in there too, if need be. Otherwise, it, without the node, the kit fits in very nicely, like I said, even to the smallest of globes. Again, uh, we manufacture this um, product right here. So this is currently a 2,000 piece order going out for install. Again, if we need to customize the base plate, if the fitter you're working with is smaller or 
has some other mounting mechanism, we can review the base and we can adjust as we go along. Uh, so that is something that uh, we offer, full custom ability. Um, when, you, when you're out there in the world, you see a lot of uh, what are called corn cobs um, that exist, and most of those corn cobs, um, they come with a 50,000 hour lifespan. They come with a 4 kV surge protection. They come with a five-year warranty. And uh, to compare to Lumicon, um, you know, our product is rated at least at 100,000 hours of lifetime. Uh, we have proof in the pudding that, that we will exist that long. Uh, we use a 40 kV surge protection and a 10-year warranty. Um, had a conversation earlier this morning with someone who said, well, if I use the cheaper corn cob, I can replace several of them before I meet the cost of your product. And the answer is, yes, you can if you don't factor in labor. Uh, but let's face it, you know, depending on where you're at in the country, labor can run anywhere from $30 to $120 an hour. And most people changing out a decorative globe are going to need a bucket truck. And so that's also an additional cost. So quite frankly, um, one replacement would probably equal the cost of our retrofit kit. And, uh, and again, who wants to replace these, right? You know, you want to be able to put them up and forget about it. So recapping features and benefits of the El Retro DG, again, we have an adjustable height, which allows it to adapt to most existing globes. Uh, we have a range of luminous outputs, so we can address a variety of lighting needs that exist. We have a wide, wide variety of globes available from Lumicon as well, which I'll discuss in a second, which gives the ability to match many aesthetics that already exist. And a sturdy base connection, which withstands vibrations and prevents breakage. Um, if you go on our website again, you'll find that we have a design your own decorative section. Um, and in that section, you'll find that uh, uh, you can see that you can choose our L Retro DG light engine. So you choose which wattage you want, what voltage you want, what color temperature you want. And then if you're trying to match up to something that's existing or building something new, you can select your globe. Uh, in this case, maybe is that the current existing installation, the globes have yellowed and become, you know, broken and brittle, uh, replacing them as a good idea. The difference between the globes here, we have two injection molded prismatic globes. There's the Woodward and the Little Woodward. These are very tough, uh, very UV um, protected. So we give a 20 year warranty against yellowing using our L Retro DG kit. Uh, over here on this side, you see blow molded uh, globes from Crown Plastics, which are just stippled, and that um, they don't have the same warranty, but they're less expensive. And again, you find a lot of these out there. So if you go, your end user is looking to save money, uh, you can pick from one of these sections as well. And then you would, if you want to do the whole fixture, you would pick out a fitter and possibly a finial if you wanted to top it off. But doing this process, uh, we also offer the ring of fire, the ball of fire, and the 35 West fixtures. And this might be a little bit less expensive than those, even though um, those are extremely quality products. Uh, but, you know, not everyone is looking for that sometimes. So this is a 10-year warrantied product uh, that you could maybe save a little bit of money on. So that wraps up our webinar today for the El Retro DG kit. I do appreciate your time. I'm going to end the uh, recording at this time. and um, But I do want...